Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. This video is actually a revised and re-uploaded version. So I uploaded a video about render order a while ago, but then I was notified that the solution that I suggested in the video only works in a specific circumstance. So I removed the video and revised the code, and here is the updated version. I thought it was just a small bug, but then I realized it requires a pretty big reconstruction of the code. So if you are thinking to follow the rest of this series, this is a pretty important video. And uh, since I deleted the last video, let me explain what it was real quick. So apparently, if you set smaller than the tile size solid area to an NPC, when player is above the NPC, his lower body overlaps NPC's upper body. Because player was always rendered after NPC, so we needed to adjust the drawing order based on their position. And the uh, solution I suggested in the last video. So it worked when we have one NPC, but uh, if we have multiple NPC, as you can see, the fix is no longer working. So this is what we're gonna fix this time. First thing we do is we have this object class Right now, all of these objects extend super object, but we change this to entity. And uh, we are not gonna use this super object anymore. So player, NPC, object, all become a subclass of entity. And uh, since entity has a constructor and receive GP game panel, so we pass this GP to the super class and delete this and this. And we are having some errors because now this is a subclass of this entity, but this entity doesn't have this name or image variable or object. So from this super object, we're gonna move this image, image two, image three, buffered image, and the string name, and the Boolean collision. So we're gonna move these three to entity. So we salvage these. And uh, also, the super object's draw method only needed one image because object doesn't move and doesn't change its direction. However, the entity's draw method has this switch statement so it can pick up an image based on the entity's direction. And now all the objects share this draw method so we need to do a little adjustment. And first we set the default direction. So any direction is fine and uh, I choose down. Since objects don't change its direction, their direction will always be this down. So now let's take care of this image loading. Yeah, instead of this image, we use this uh, down one. And now we can use this uh, setup method in the entity class to scale the image. So we can call it and pass the file path and the scaling is done. So we can delete this. Yeah, it looks much simpler now. Like this. 
and we'll do the same to other object class too. And for this door, we leave this collision true too. But one exception is this heart class. So this class has three images. And they are currently used for displaying player life. So for this one, we keep using this image 1, 2, 3. Yep, okay, so that's all for the object. So now we can delete this super object. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. And so now we are having some errors. Okay. In this UI class, the error is happening because we don't have super object anymore. So we change this to entity. And okay, go to the game panel. And okay, here we change this to entity. Now we can take care of the render order. And first we create a array list uh, entities. And I'm gonna name this entity list equal new array list what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put all the entities so player NPCs and object into this list so we create a one big entity list then we sort out the order so the entity that has the lowest world Y comes to index zero. And the entity that has the highest world Y comes to the end of the array. And we draw them from index zero to the last one. So this way we can handle all the entities drawing order properly. So in this paint component and in this else bracket, so we're gonna delete everything but this tilem draw and the UI draw. So here we put all the entities into this entity list. And first we add player. And then uh, NPC. So we're gonna use this for loop. NPC length I plus plus if NPC I not equal null. Okay, so here entity list dot at NPC I and then object. So int i zero i lbj dot length i plus plus no. if obj i not equal no then entity list dot at obj i Hmm. So, okay, here at entities to the list. So now all the entities are in this entity list. 
And next, we will sort out the order by their world Y. And for this, we use a class called okay, sort corrections class. And it's sort method. Ooh, what is this? No, not checked sorted map, but just sort. And inside of this round bracket, first we type entity list. And then we let it know how we sort the list. And for that, we use a class called comparator uh, entity. Uh, okay, see? So it asks you to implement a method. So let's do that. Then it adds this compare method. And with this method, we can basically compare entities by a specified condition. And since we want to compare them by their world Y, so we type like this. So uh, I'm going to change this E1, uh, E1 and E2. Int result equal integer dot compare and uh, so e1 dot world y e2 dot world y and we're gonna return this result so this way we can sort this entity list by world y so now we got this sorted entity list so we just need to draw it one by one draw entities oh, int i equal zero uh, entity list dot size and i plus plus and entity list dot get i dot draw g2 so whatever is inside of this entity list we're gonna call it one by one and call its draw method and uh, after drawing it we remove everything from the list so we reset the list and t and t t list we can just copy and paste here instead of draw we remove i so that's it and uh, since we've added object to this entity list let's add some objects too so we can do a more accurate test testing so in this asset setter, so I added two doors, and so for this door, so let's add some uh, smaller than the tile size solid area, so we can check if render order is working properly. Okay, something like this. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna add uh, a bit more NPC. Something like this. So let's see if our new render order system is working properly. Oops, error, what? What is it? Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, delete super object. What? Still? What's wrong? Game panel? Ah, same, I think. 
import yeah delete super object yeah let's go okay so door yeah looks good hmm okay oh he's stuck and npc hmm okay oops <laughs> for interpret okay yeah looks good oh he's also stuck hmm oops okay another one is here okay hmm looks good yeah everything is working properly so this is the new rendering drawing system i apologize for letting you do this extra work but sometimes this kind of revision is necessary to improve your code i guess and in the next video we will implement monsters so we can finally move on to a new stuff so thanks for watching and until next time